In this series, we're going to look at heat. Heat is a huge part of our lives, of course. The heat energy coming from the sun warms our planet, some places more than others, and the heat energy from heaters warms our homes. Heat can be produced by burning things, including natural gas and wood, and by electricity in, say, a toaster. Heat is a form of energy, and like all forms of energy, it can make things change in some way. Heat can change the temperature of water, and it can change the proteins and other molecules in, for example, meat when we cook it. Heat energy can even change the size of an object because when most things get hot, they expand, sometimes explosively so. A huge amount of the technology and comforts that we have in our world just wouldn't exist if it wasn't for what we've learned about the way heat behaves. In this series, we're going to look at this idea of heat, including its effect on things and how it transfers from one thing to another. There's a fair bit of heat transferring onto me right now. We'll begin by looking at temperature, which is related to heat, but which is not the same thing as heat. Temperature is a measure of how hot something is. We know that boiling water is much hotter than melting ice, and therefore it has a much higher temperature than melting ice. To express the temperature of something, we need a temperature scale. Most of the world uses the Celsius scale for temperature, named after Anders Celsius, a Swedish scientist who, in 1742, nearly 300 years ago, devised it. Basically, he called the temperature at which ice melts zero degrees, we now say zero degrees Celsius, and he called the temperature at which water boils 100 degrees. Anders Celsius could have chosen any numbers that he wanted to for his scale, but he went with zero and 100. Nice round numbers. Thanks for watching this short excerpt from Shedding Light on Heat Episode 1, Temperature. Using highly engaging visuals and outstanding explanations, the Shedding Light on Heat series teaches students everything that they need to know about heat including its effect on things and how it transfers from one thing to another. In episode one, Temperature, we get down to the atomic level to explain how hot things are different to cold things, we describe what a temperature scale actually tells us, and we demonstrate how scientists measure the amount of heat energy that water absorbs when it's heated. You can read a transcript of the video that has lots of screen grabs at www.liakoseducationalmedia.com where you can also download the student activity sheet. So visit us today.